so I said earlier, we in 15, the past 15 years, we've built five prisons, we've expanded four. Uh, so we've got over a billion dollars of debt that we're paying off too. $30 million, this book budget binding, just to pay off the debt on past prison expansion. By the way, so this dotted line that goes down and down and down in this time period, that's the amount of money that we're spending on the kinds of programs in, inside prison that help people make it up when they get out, that help reduce recidivism, right? Things like addiction treatment, things like adult basic education, things like uh, re-entry support programs, helping people develop plans before they get out. So essentially, as we're actually building more and more prisons and filling them at a, at a serious cost, we're actually cutting the types of programs. In some ways, people can think of it as, it's like our, our prisons are becoming more and more like warehouses, and it's almost like this, we're creating this self-fulfilling prophecy, this cycle that we can't get out of, because it's like, what, what are people going to do when they get out if we're actually not investing in Uh, future correction costs that state and local governments save, as well as um, the benefits to, um, in terms of reduced costs to future crime victims. Morgan Youth Authority, and we thought that this was important because it actually prevented youth who have been convicted as adults from any, any of being transferred to adult prison. We kept them within OIA, which is, you know, definitely better than adult prison. And then also, uh, time to really change some stuff up. We're going to discuss it in the Alright, so the reason why I think that we're in a moment in time that we um, can really change some things up is that the truth of the matter is um, legislators are, are beginning to get this, right? They're beginning to get the fact that um, prison build-up isn't, it isn't cost-effective, and it's not even the most effective way to actually create public safety. There's a, and, and they're beginning to get this also because hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, you know, the, in the governor's uh, kind of budget revisions for this February session, he's looking to cut from higher education as a like three, three and a half million. I, I'm at that level, with, you know, which um, could be a little more, but when you add it up, right, that's nowhere near the hundreds of millions of dollars that we could save. Again, when you talk to legislators and say, you know, we've got to stop. Cutting higher education. We've got to stop these solutions. In 2013, you need, there's going to be a package of reforms that are going to be offered to you from the, the Governor's Commission on Public Safety. And, um, and you know what? That can help stop the bleeding. You are such a wide variety of people who get the impact this is having on our, on our state budget and the impact that this is having on issues that, that they care about. So we're working with groups.